What's up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we're back with stage 13 of the Giro d'Italia and today we have easily the most exciting parkours of the race so far. I think we have less than 200 meters of climbing throughout the entire 200k here into Verona. It's a day for the sprinters. So of course for us today it's going to be about energy conservation with Big Hugh Carthy who still struggles for form a little bit at this race despite being in the top five of the GC still, but we'll try and go for some uh, Chiclamino points with Alberto Bessio, either at the intermediates or the sprint finish, but I'm not gonna go in today's breakaway. And the fight for said breakaway is going to be very simple because Bodnar, Gujard and Ravinelli are going to form the day's breakaway and that will be it. And so ahead of this intermediate sprint, we do need to take a quick look at the Chiclamino jersey because Nizzolo is winning by a massive margin still. And we are second with Bessio, ahead of the likes of Malia and Ewan, who are, of course, still in the race in this playthrough. But Bessio, the man he needs to be is Giacomo Nizzolo. There he is. So there will be some points available here. Three K to go until the intermediate sprint in Ferrara. Bodnar, Gujard and Ravinelli, they will sweep up the first few positions. But Kukala and Bessio need to perform very well here. I do believe 2K to go for Bessio. We're in a fairly good place, getting blocked a little bit. I'm going to go early yet again. Here goes Alberto Bessio. Here comes Ewan. We do have some corners as well. And luckily, Nizzolo, nowhere to be seen. Oh, we just fade to the line there. Not sure if we took any points. Let's see at... Oh, uh, we got one point with Bessio. One point, definitely worth it. Again, then, the breakaway are set to take the first three positions. But here we go behind. We go up to 99 with the end to Bessio getting blocked off a little bit in the wheels. It's not ideal. We're going to have to launch and hope for the best there. This is a nightmare for Bessio's Chiclamino chase. We just cannot find a way through here, but we finally sneak through in the end. And I think we'll pick up at least a couple points right there with Bessio. Let's see this time around we do get four points definitely worthwhile breakaway court then we still have 15k to go and i have called upon the services of tj van garderen in the lead out today as well as ruben guerrero and i feel like guerrero probably the best lead out man because kukala is on is on such a poor day minus two day he is going to struggle with the rhythm but that is also going to impact bessio as well maybe we follow caleb ewan or someone else so 8k to go here in the sprint and i can assure you it's very straight to the finish in verona to Today, TJ has grabbed the wheel of Kobe Gosens right there. Let's maybe use the gels as well and push this a little now with TJ. Try and come past these guys and use his good flat racing. Today, Ruben Guerrero is poised as well. Carthy sat in the group behind. He should be okay for sure. Lotto really pressing on the pedals here. But now 5k to go. Let's go up to maybe 98 with TJ Van Garderen pushing our guys right to the front of this race. A really good job by the big American 4k to go. Kukala, it's maybe a little early. It's maybe a little early. Let's drop this to 92 with Kukala briefly. Great Jumbo Visma train as well to our right hand side. Maybe up to 99 here with the end of Kukala. Here comes Nizzolo as well. We're getting blocked in with Guerrero. Oh my word, it's a shocking sprint so far. Guerrero trying to lead out Alberto Betio to the line. It's an absolute mess of a sprint here today with Alberto Betio who does come late to be fair to him. Really good challenge, but Peter Sagan takes the win in Verona, just ahead of Elia Viviani. Betio will be third. It's a good sprint for us. Narvaez is fourth as well. And Zolo is nowhere. And that is absolutely massive. I most likely messed that up a little bit. I went a little early, had to hold back, and then we got blocked in a little. But Betio, really nice top three today. And now in the Chiclamino jersey, we have closed the gap to almost 40 points to Giacomo Nizzolo. Peter Sagan still some way down here. Maybe he can try and catch Nizzolo. But it seems to be a bit of a two-horse race here. Great ground made up today by Alberto Betio. Of course, no change in the GC, but now continues in the Maglia Rosa with Carthy just over a minute down. And talking of the GC battle, it certainly returns on stage 14 because we have the revered Monte Zoncalan. Over 200 kilometers is this stage, but that final climb features some absurd percentages. I think a max of 27%. I cannot wait for that. It should suit you, Carthy, as well. Of course, he did very well on the Angaroo at the Vuelta last season. But if you enjoyed today, make sure you smash that like button, drop a sub if you're new as well, and I'll see you for the Zonkalan. Thank you.